and welcome back to episode 6. Alright guys, so if we remember last time, we uh, we tried to scout out a little bit more armor, we uh, planted a field of wheat, and we got some progress, you know, a little bit of stuff done. We also worked a little bit more on our storage area here, our little wine cellar with our chicken, who wants to escape. Uh, I don't want my chicken to escape. How do we get in here without... Let me see. Here. Hi, Mr. Clickers. Yep. So he's going to be eventually our little chicken farm. But uh, for now, we're going to go ahead and put away our spare set of iron armor. Made everything but the helmet. So that that's a good thing, you know. Put it just like that. Oh. I don't know that I need another shield right now. Yeah, we're good on that. So, what the game plan is, is we're actually going to go back down into the mines and we're going to see if we can't um, try to find us some diamond. I need at least one more diamond so that we can go to the nether. And uh, that may seem a little bit crazy. And I agree with you wholeheartedly, it is. But, if we want to move forward, we got to make progress, right? So that's one thing we want to do, and if we get some time... I think and what we might try to do is come on back here and we might label our storage system if we get some time and get that sorted and organized a little bit. But all in all, I think in we got a nice plan. Got some blocks to build with here. Look at that, Mr. Cluckers is still up by the door. <laughs> he really wants out. All right. Also, I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, feeling better. It's it's not been a bad day. Uh, you know, health-wise, I seem to be okay and stuff. So we're all good there. The only thing is, like, I didn't get much sleep last night, and I'm actually going to record this episode a day beforehand, so it'll still come out at the right time. But I got a uh, air in the run with my grandmother, and uh, that that takes precedence over other stuff. So. I wanted to make sure that I had time to record the video, so that's why we're going ahead and we're doing it right now. So, you won't notice a difference, but I will. So anyway, I just figured I'd give you a heads up on that. So, let's see, do we need anything else? We got iron pickaxe. You know what, actually, before we go back down there, I'm thinking what we ought to do is we ought to grab us a stone pickaxe, too. Get us some cobble here. Because I have a feeling that we're going to be doing some digging. And hopefully that'll be a good thing. So we never know what we're going to find here. So we got our stone pickaxe. And we got some torches still, so that's excellent. Alright. Down we go, guys. Woo! Check that out. <laughs> See, that there is a landing. Remember I told you the water trick last episode? Ooh, we got some slime. I need some slime. By the way, I'm getting pretty excited about uh, my tutorial video. I thought about it a lot today. And it is going to be on uh, basically slime machines. In particular, the flying kind. You know, elevators, get you moving back and forth, and... I hopped into a creative world uh, yesterday with my friend, Game Boy Color Guy, and we were able to problem shoot a few things and get some stuff going on. So I'm going to see if I can't get him to join me in an episode or two. But with the tutorial, there's a lot of cool stuff that we're going to learn. Um, how to make two basic flying machines, how to make a more complex one that actually goes back and forth. Um, what, what's the mechanisms actually involved in making something move like that? And you know, sometimes, to be honest with you, I have watched some videos before that say, well, you can do this in Bedrock. Look at that, Mr. Zombie's over there. <laughs> Hopefully I can get up here before he comes. Look at him, he's just swimming. He's just swimming. Floating along. Hello. Alright, we're, we're just going to let him be. But anyway, so sometimes, you know, you're going to watch a video, 
and it seems like everything should work, and then it doesn't. And they say, well, it's supposed to work in Bedrock 1.18, 1.16, 1.19, and it just doesn't seem to work. Part of the reason is because uh, a lot of the times when people make different machines, they've done it first on the Java edition, and then that uses very specific components that uh, we don't have here on uh, Bedrock Edition. For example, zero tick pulses and stuff. Now, that would be awesome if we had it, and ideally, if things would work that way, that would be great. But I think that sometimes people just kind of get confused on what Bedrock is versus what Java is. So we're going to aim to kind of dispel that, and with the new tutorial series, we're going to actually kind of do some fun stuff and make sure that X can be done on the phone, on mobile, on Bedrock, whatever you're playing on. I'm personally playing on Android, but it should work on a, any mobile device, you know, Pocket Edition of Minecraft. So that's going to be the goal of the tutorial, and I'm explaining this now. Oops. Because when we get into the tutorial, I actually just want it to be a tutorial. You know, not, not kind of like a long-winded explanation of what it is, why it is, but to get it actually, you know, resonating with somebody. Because after all, they came to see the video on how to make a slime machine or how to make a flying machine. Um, and that's what we want to focus on, right? So that's what, that's why I'm gonna explain that right now, and uh, hopefully that gets you guys a little wet in the appetite. Maybe you look forward to it, but it's gonna be cool. I don't know if you've ever done flying flying machines before, if I can speak right. <laughs> flying machines before, but uh, uh oh, double trouble. That that made me panic. Look at him. Oh yeah, so if you get a skeleton that shoots another skeleton, they just, uh, they do that. They fight each other. <laughs> anyway, so I just want you guys to be able to enjoy something like that and to be able to have fun with it. Because I'm going to have fun with it and I hope that you do too. And who knows? You guys might make some fantastic, cool ideas. And I hope that you do. Same way with the, uh, you know, the series here. I hope that it's encouraging you to maybe pursue a goal that you've had or, you know, an idea that you wanted to come about, whether it's making videos or anything, really. And I say that every episode, pretty much, because I mean it. I want to encourage you guys to pursue the things that you like to do. And that's often easier said than done because we want to, we want to do things but maybe we're not motivated to do it, or we worry that maybe it just won't come out right. Maybe we worry what people are going to think about it. And, and that, could be, that could be really discouraging, and it could be a, kind of a downer when it comes to motivation. Um, sometimes people, like when it comes to videos and YouTube and stuff, they think about views and, oh, I gotta get so many views, or I have to do this, or I have to do that. That is a lot of mobs down there. Uh, well, I mean, I could use another shovel. <laughs> but don't get so focused on the views that you lose sight of having fun, right? Because that's what we want to do. We want to have fun. And everything else will come in time. To give you an idea, it's like... Where did he go? Oh, I must have beat him up. Again, we'll put a light here real quick. There is a lot of zombies there. I thought maybe for a second there was a spawner, but I guess not. Okay. So anyway, um, if I were to focus on the views of my videos, like at this point, my first video had the most views. And oddly enough, I think uh, part of that was me and part of it was my family. You know, we go in and check it and spread that around, and that was great. Like, at the present moment, I think it has, like, 27 views, and I'm not complaining at all. That is wonderful. But all my other videos have, like, uh, 5, 6, 7 views, maybe 8, and that really doesn't discourage me. 
and I wouldn't want it to discourage you either because if you get low views on your videos that's okay that is perfectly okay because the reason why you're doing this has to be a reason other than just for views if if you're just focusing on views that can be uh that could just be really downhearting so i want you guys to have fun and just appreciate what you're doing and enjoy it for what it is because it could be a hobby it could be something that you enjoy but oh boy he is a strong dude look at him he's, the zombies just pushing him <laughs> hello um how do i do with this dude I got a bow Fast strikes. Whew. Like a kung fu legend there. <laughs> Not really, but you know. But anyway, um, so whatever you decide to do, if you're if you're making videos or if you're not, don't think so much about what people think about you and your hobby or your plan or you know whatever it may be. Just have fun. If you can't have fun with it, it's going to be hard to stick with it. And it's going to be hard to get motivated to even do it, right? So that's what I wanted to... to oh, lava. Is it one? It's probably just one. I do. I need lava, though. But I just want you to, to know that, uh, you know, you can have fun with it. And just don't take it so seriously, you know? Anyway, so that's kind of the uh, helpful rant today. The little bit of encouragement that I can try to offer, and because this has been really enjoyable, I have uh, I've really enjoyed making the videos so far. And every now and then I tell myself I don't like it, I don't want to do it, but that's just me kind of being a little bit sour, you know, a little bit discouraging, and it doesn't help. So uh, just keep it up, keep doing what you're doing. So we're not finding hardly anything in this cave, are we? I mean, we're getting a ton of iron, which is good, but not much of anything else. I was hoping to find some diamonds, maybe just kind of laying around. All right, here. We're probably about, oh, I'd say we're probably about halfway through our episode two, but you know what we could do? Like, even if we just get a bunch of iron, it's it's still a success, because that's just one more suit of iron that we can have, or it's an iron sword, iron tools. Uh, we can make an anvil with it for enchanting. So, it's not a complete loss if we don't find diamonds. Well, it would be nice if we did. Uh, hello. <laughs> Run away. Look at this. Did you create a gap like this? Wipe his feet. And then you wait. Gotcha. Just like that. I'm kind of becoming a Minecraft pro at this. Maybe. Oh, there's a ton of skeletons over there. Um, let's go this way. Boy, there's a lot of stuff, isn't there? A lot of iron. Is there anything over here? It's always good to kind of light up your path here. Make sure nothing spawns on you while you're trying to get the goodies. There's nothing here. Although, sometimes if you place this... Nope, it didn't work. I was going to say, you can place the torch on gravel and everything drops, so... That's always a surprise. Alright, up here, anything? Some copper. Not much else, we just kind of worked our way back around. Okay, that's all right. Look at that. I'm trying to dig with the with the bucket. Right here. By the way, if if you've been enjoying this uh, series so far, um, if it's something that's made your day or that you uh, take the time to watch, go ahead and drop me a comment. Let me know because I definitely appreciate that and. Maybe I can give you a shout out, huh? There we are. Look, we're finding a whole bunch of gold armor. That's good. Mm, we're gonna 
head down this way, probably. Anything yet? It does go deeper. So the deeper that you go, the more likely you are to find diamonds. So that, that is a good thing. So we're going to try and see what we can come up with here. Grab all this iron real quick. And if I sound nasally, it's not that I'm sick or anything. I just got finished eating some Casey's pizza. And uh, <laughs> it's a little bit spicy. And the new uh, pepperoni pizza and stuff like that. And so that that's why. Uh, you eat a lot, you get nasally. Let me see here. Down we go. No. It's getting pretty deep. Right now you have 28. Well, there's some redstone. It looks like it kind of continues, so let's go ahead and grab the redstone real quick. I think that you need to use an iron pickaxe for that. Yeah, because that's awfully slow. Here we are. I'm not really a fan of strip mining all that much. Like when I'm in the nether, I'll strip mine for ancient debris because I don't I don't care for the bed explosion thing. As opposed to looking for stuff. And usually I can find ancient debris pretty quickly, but like in the overworld, if I can avoid doing it, then that's what I really want to do. Take our torch here. Work our way back out. Now I'm picking up my torches again so that I can explore a little bit more. But also so I know that, hey, I don't have to come back this way. And I won't get confused when I try to follow my way back. So it's not necessary to do this, but I'm doing it just to kind of save myself some resources, you know? Alright, upward. Let's go ahead and take this one. Let's take that one. Let's see, a little bit further up, maybe. And again, you'll notice that I'm passing by all of the gold. I'm passing by the gold because I'm going to save it for piglin bartering. Once we get into the nether, it's going to be an important way of how we can get some obsidian really quickly. Frying obsidian, that's going to help a lot when it comes to respawn anchors, fire resistance potions and stuff. But I enjoy trading with the piglins, and the more gold that you have, the easier that is to do. So that's why I'm not picking up any gold just yet. Uh, we're really going to wait until we get fortune. What do you think? You think I can make it? We're going to do it. Oh. <laughs> well, <laughs> I almost made it. I kind of hit that pretty hard, didn't I? Sometimes you can find diamonds underneath water. Maybe I should have grabbed that lava first. I don't know. It's weird that this is... Whoa, look at that. That... That is cursed. So, I don't know why that's not making stone. I'll tell you what, though. I'm going to make that my thumbnail, because that's, that's pretty cool. Uh, if I can do it without getting my volume, that is. Let me see here. There we go, that's better. That is the weirdest thing. Okay. So, uh... Magical lava, I guess. <laughs> We're at level 32, so we're getting pretty low here. Lots of water. There's got to be some diamonds around here somewhere. Anything? No. No. Maybe I'm just kind of missing stuff. Diamonds are really hard to find you know, just kind of exposed. When they updated to 1.18, they made it to where diamonds show up below the surface a little bit more. You can still find them on the surface, but it's hard. Most of the time you just kind of have to dig for them. I'm hoping that we can get lucky and find something without having to dig for it just yet.
We are getting pretty deep into this cave. Oh, there is a lava lake. That is what we needed for the obsidian. Where are we at here? Let's see if I can remember this. This is about... Hmm. I'm going to say negative 650, negative 530. I'll have to go up and write that on the sign. Negative 650, negative 530. Hopefully I can remember that. 650, 530. I'll stop back there on the way back up here. Anything? No. No, nothing at all. Okay. So, we've done quite a bit of exploring. I think it's 650, 530. Okay. So, I'm thinking what we're going to do is make our way back up to the surface. So we can see what we have there and go from what we have. So we collected quite a bit of stuff, which is nice. How much iron did we get? Half a stack of iron. Some armor. So... It's not a complete loss as to being down here, which is good. And I didn't really dig that much either. So that's kind of interesting to me. I wish we would have, though. It would have been nice to find something. Oh. Uh, that scared me. I didn't realize that lava was right there. Okay, up we go. We do have enough to make three blocks of iron, though, so we could potentially make an anvil if I got more iron up top. I don't remember. Glow squid. We can get some glow ink. Hello. Did we get it? Got one. And glow ink. Did we get it? I think we got it. Just out of curiosity, is there anything down here? No. Okay. We're going back up. Outside. There we go. We didn't explore this way. Is there anything? Just uh, looking real quick. Nothing. Nothing over there. Anything down here? Possibly. One day I was exploring down a, a little noodle section like this, and I ended up finding an amethyst geode at the end of it, so you can get some good stuff down here. Sometimes you gotta make yourself uncomfortable and get in those tight spaces and see what comes of it. Uh, glow lichen. Oh, I thought that was diamonds. It was just another glow lichen. Hmm. Nothing that I see. Just got iron. But that's okay. We will go ahead and take it. Work on around here. Oh, is it just one? No, there's two. Okay. You get disappointed sometimes you find something good and you start breaking it open and you only realize, oh, it's just one. <laughs> it's kind of like our diamond situation. We just found two. Of course, two is better than nothing. Let's see if I can move my controls here. Break a little bit there. Anything else? Not that I see. Hmm. This must be the lava cave again. Nice and bright. Now it is. <laughs> Nothing there. Uh, just some redstone down there. I guess we'll grab the redstone while we're down here. Because we're probably not going to come back down this area. That's 
scared me. Grab some of this. Alright, and then I think we are going to call this good and head up. How about that? Okay, so it's negative 630, negative 550, I believe it was. Or was it negative 650 and 530? Uh, one of the two. Something over here. My brain is kind of fried being next to all this lava. <laughs> That's okay. That is okay. Up we go. And up we go. You know, all in all, we've we've been playing this series now just for a few hours. And we found some pretty good stuff, you know. Uh, we got a lot accomplished, I think anyway. So I'm pretty pleased with it, and I hope that you guys are too. I'm not really one into speedrunning by any means. But... You know, for what it's worth, I think we're, we're making a decent pace at it. So let's head up to the surface here and we can count our stuff. Hmm. Alright, I must have missed that. Oh, I did, didn't I? Beautiful. What's over here real quick? Uh, that's probably, yeah, that's our cave that we explored already. Because this is a torch that we left behind. Anything that I see before I head back up? I really, really want to find it. And I'm just not seeing anything, guys. That's okay. Okay, so we just take our losses here for a minute, because we found a lot of good stuff. Uh, probably this way. Oh, look at there. We got some redstone. Might as well grab it while we're here. There we go. Torch here. Lava there. How'd I miss that iron? I must have missed it. Not paying attention. Hey, it'd be funny as if I explored through here and I broke the siren or a diamond behind it or something. You know what? Just for fun. We're just going to break a couple of these and make sure. Nah. I bet you thought there was going to be something, though. I did. <laughs> it's alright. You win some, you lose some. Okay, up we go. More iron along the way. Can't complain about that. Iron can be used for a lot of stuff, you know. You want to make some hoppers or some big storage machines, you're going to need some iron. How did. Oh, that's right, I made a crafting table, didn't I? For a minute I got panicky. I was like, how did a crafting table end up down here? Alright, but yeah, um, so the more iron that you got, the better. You can make all sorts of cool stuff. If you want to be more of like a decorator, you can use iron ingots. Get you some lanterns going on there. You don't have to wait for a bastion to do that. I'm going to save those and come on back. So, you know, traditionally people make an iron golem farm. And I was thinking about doing that too. That's kind of a nice way to go up, but you need to get some villagers first. You can get some villagers first, and you can make you a nice iron golem farm, and everything works out for you just well. Uh, on the opposite side, if you don't want an iron golem farm, what you could do is the piglin trading. Get enough gold, and they can give you iron ingots. It's a little bit slower. Not as effective, but you do get a wide variety of other materials doing it, which is nice. So that's, that's the, the way that I normally go. 
So I might switch it up and do something different. You never know. Almost to the top. Let's go weak. Hello. Did I get it? I think I got it. Got it. Anything in the water? Iron. <laughs> Boy, this cave is loaded with iron, isn't it? So anyway, so that that's just kind of a thought. You know, think about maybe some farms that you want to do. And even if they're not the best farms, or maybe not the most efficient farms, that's okay, just do it. Go for it, and enjoy that, you know? Because it's all about having fun. Don't take things too seriously if you don't have to. Now, if you want to, and you're, you're into that, then definitely go for it. You know, the bigger the better. That's what they always say, so... Make Grandois farms. Make them huge. Make them uh, something that you're going to enjoy and be proud of. And you never know. You might learn something in the process, too. I totally thought it was day for a minute because that moon was up there. Uh, hello. We're going to shut this. Go to bed real quick. Count up for supplies. and Who knows? Who knows? Ah. Thought I smelled something burning. Yep. Makes life a little bit enjoyable, at least. <laughs> All the baddies that are trying to get you, yep, they don't like the sun. Look you there. You get some free goodies. Pick them up real quick. Oh, hello. Hi. Yeah, remember why I said spiders don't attack you during the daytime. We did, however, get more wheat going on, so that's that's good. Oh, did I pick up a carrot? <gasps> oh, the zombie gave me a carrot somewhere. That is an awesome source of food. And Mr. Porker likes carrots, so, you know, that's a positive thing, too. <laughs> but yeah, if you get some carrots, and then what we're going to do later with our gold farm, uh, making some golden carrots. That is an excellent, excellent way to go about stuff, you know? So we're going to just plant these in a row. I read somewhere, I don't know if this is just Java Edition or not, but if you plant them in alternating rows, they're supposed to grow better. I don't know if that's true for Bedrock or not, but we can experiment with that and try it. I have a chicken still, right? Yeah. Keep this chicken going. All right, guys, so let's take a look at what we got. So aside from our three iron here, we ended up getting 52 in a half an hour. I mean, that's insane, right? We got uh, nine glow squid inks, sacks, uh, a couple bones, four of them, nine slime, so that gives us one slime block. We got some kind of disposable gold armor. Gold armor is nice. Ooh, that's really good. Protection 3 golden chest plate. Protection 2 golden leggings. Those are going to come in handy if I decide to to wear those as part of my gold set in the nether. I'm not sure yet. Nothing else. I can pass on the enchantments and that'll be nice. Uh, I didn't really get too much other than that, but you know what? We did quite a good, good episode, I'd say. And, uh... I'm happy with the results, you know. We, we did good. And maybe next episode or so, we'll we'll take a break from mining and we'll do some more building. How about that? So kind of what I'm thinking... That portal... Here to there... Hmm... How about how about we clear a path down to the nether portal in the next episode, and maybe we'll decorate the portal itself? Kind of come up with a nice design. How about that? Alright guys, well, I appreciate you very, very much, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this episode, and hope that you're enjoying it, and hope that you've had a good day, so... Thank you so much, and I will see you soon, either in the next tutorial or in the next episode. It's coming. It's coming, folks. Don't give up. Anyway, take care now. Bye-bye.